What does it mean to be a good listener? A good listener is someone who always stays engaged in their conversation and shows respect and listens with positive body language to the person speaking or the person presenting. Statistics have proven that we learn more from listening than we do any other type of communication, such as reading, watching, anything else. Mark Twain once said, if God intended us to talk more than listen, he would have given us two mouths and one ear. This shows that listening is so important because it shows that people want to be listened to and people want to be heard. And it is a very important type and form of communication. To be a good listener, you must be attentive, open-minded, and you must be able to recite or use what was learned. Some benefits of a good listener are the respect. benefits of being a good listener are to have respect, better relationships, and greater clarity. I'm gonna say always. Okay. What's your name? Ryan. And your name? So like when my sister talks to me, I just never listen to because I don't care. Okay. okay, what is your name? Gabby Mayburn. And how often do you actually listen to people when they speak? I try to when they're speaking, but sometimes the things they're saying are not really they don't really matter to me, so like sometimes like portions I listen to them. But yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. How often do you actually listen to people when they're talking to you? Uh, well, I listen whenever uh, it's necessary or it's somewhat above me, um, a better authority, higher authority. Um, but other than that, it's more of just hearing and listening. Right. Okay. How often do you actually listen to people when they're talking to you? Uh, let's see, 40% of the time. Okay. One, go. What are some traits of a good listener? Um, sitting there with your hands like this. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What does it mean to be a good listener and how can you make sure that you are a good listener? Um, one way to be a good listener is don't fall asleep in class and make sure you pay attention to like everything the teachers say. Good job. How do you feel when people don't listen to you? Actually, when people don't listen to me, it depends on who the people are. If it's adults or something like that, I kind of just move on. But when it's students, it actually hurts my feelings. All right, thank you. How often do people listen to you, and how does it make you feel when they don't? They don't ever listen. They don't ever listen? No. And how does it make you feel? It sucks, because I, I try to help everybody out, and they don't listen, so it kind of hurts. All right. What's good, bro? Yeah, what's up, man? How was your weekend, bud? Good, man. What about you? It was good. What did you do? Just hung out at my house. Same. That's pretty good. That's about it. So, uh... So, research has proven that listening is a skill, not just a... I could say that, but it is shown that only 25% of the time are people actually listening because they just believe that hearing is listening. They don't believe that they actually have to stay engaged and pay attention to the speaker when they are speaking. So most people don't understand that they, it is a skill and that they need to improve their skills in order to become a better listener. The Global Listening Center did a research on listening and how well people do it and this is what they found it says that um viewers that watch the online or tv news only could remember about 17.2 percent of what was said and what had happened on that um 
they could only listen to about seven items off of a list when named off on a game show. And um, when people threw together an unrelated series of sentences, people could only remember about two to three of the items stated in those sentences. This shows that people were not very good listeners and they only listened to probably the first half of everything that was stated and not really get into the conversation. They were just hearing what was being said. They were not listening, they were not participating, and they were not being good communicators. A way that you can become a good listener is triple A listening. It is a um, way, it is three A's. It is attitude, attention, and adjustment. So for the attitude, you always have to have a positive mindset and go in with an open mindset. Um, you can't assume what the lecture or presentation or conversation is going to be about and you can't make your decision off of that because that will close your ears off. Um, you always have to pay attention. Um, paying attention, concentrating, don't be, sorry, look it out. But always adjust to your speaker. Don't think just because one speaker speaks one way that your listening and your participation in that conversation will be the exact same. You have to base your participation.